we bring bad things to light. 34th of February, 1067 AOE, Eastland. Mark Kozo, Liberator, Empire Free from Tyranny of Magic. Gone are the days of turning castles into hearts, and eggs into ripe guano. Gone are the grooves in granola, the flatness and the foolishness. Today the magic wars are over. Shun magic, and shun the appearance of magic. Shun everything, and then shun shunning. So said the Grand Inquisitor from atop Flathead Mesa, where the grateful masses long to welcome Inquisition troops to newly occupied Fort Pozo. The third dungeon master has accepted the Inquisitor's generous offer of a permanent vacation. Today, the dungeon master read a brief but impassioned statement in support of the transitional Inquisition government. Rumors that the Dungeon Master is leading a so-called magic resistance are entirely false. In other news, the standoff at the Enchanters Guild ended peacefully last week when the Enchanters were freed from themselves by carrying Inquisition troops. Concerned citizens everywhere search high and low for hidden scrolls and magic contraband, voluntarily purging themselves of the worst excesses of the magic revolution. And finally, at tomorrow's ceremony, the Grand Inquisitor is expected to announce a radical new mind-numbing technology that will implement his visionary One Point of Life program. Never forget who is the boss of you. Me! I am the boss of you! I am the boss of you! I am the boss of you! I am Adventurers again. Go away. We don't need any. Can't oh, let you I in. Sorry. Guess you'll have to die. The Grand Inquisitor rolls. This message was brought to you by Robots Electric. Leave the thinking to us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 even if there weren't no curfew, I can't let you in. I'm completely nude. You one of them agitators, ain't ya? Mm, we don't want none of your kind in Port Fusel. Mm -hmm. You hear? Technologies, useful and otherwise. High Lord of all that he wants and then some. Leader of the campaign against all horrid sorts of magic. The evening curfew is now in effect. No autographs. I don't do that anymore. Now beat it. Scram. A proclamation for the betterment of society. Trying to steal my fish? To Get our your own. To loyal citizenry of our once largely peaceable and only rather recently corrupted township of Port Puzo. Which is to say, our Would first somebody the turn the damn speaker down? I can't hear anything from this morning. Somebody turn the damn speaker down. I can't hear anything The blindly obedient. Let it be known throughout our land.
You wouldn't be fishing for anything in particular now, would you? Because, see, I'm a fish and you're, you know, fishing. So I gotta ask. You want a piece of me, Doc Boy? Or Doc Girl. I can't really tell all you people look the same. Since a long but touching death scene. <laughs> Thank you, Rick, for that passing scissor fish. That mad fish strangler can have the dock. I'm out of here. We. <laughs> with me when I killed that troll with my rusty knife in Great Underground Adventure 4. These things are hard to come by. Nowadays, all you get are flashlights, courtesy Frobaugh's electric... Whoa! Get in here! Ah, go ahead. I said a whole crate off the Inquisition. Well, I know a guy who knows a guy who I said a whole crate off the... And I paid him. Now, where's my wrench? Ah. Yeah, looks like this lamp has seen some action. Got a lot of carbon scoring here. Let's see if we can't just take a little. What's <laughs> making a spark like that? You smell Spence weed? Where am I? Let me hit this. Ow! Ow! Cut it out! Ow! Oh, nobody saw you come in with that lantern. Now, oh, don't look at me like that. I'm not a real adventurer. Just played one on TV. Couldn't find my way out of a maze if you paid me. Well, and maybe if you pay me a lot. Look, this thing is magic. It's been a while, but I know it when I see it. Trust me, you don't want this lamp. Now scram! All citizens are reminded required to attend tomorrow's ceremony at the Flathead Mesa. Who is the boss of you? Me. I am the boss of you. Try to follow the logic. There is no magic. We don't need magic. Don't we have technology. Proof boss asymmetric. The totemized daily billboard is functioning correctly. Brainwashing the general populace 24 hours a day. Yeah. Who is the boss of you? Fire! You were just supposed to smoke it! Aha! Uh -huh. Arrest the vandal! Oh, what a load of yipple dung! I've been set up! Go ahead and read him his rights. You have no rights. Hey, you're inferior, Jack. I'm a really big fan of yours. Remember that one time when you killed that thief who stole all your stuff? Sure, pal. Whatever you say. That was first rate. Bloody good. 
I smite him? Hey! Oh, I, I believe Smith is. Smithation would be appropriate at this juncture. Go right ahead. Oh, I get to smite hey, hey, Anterior hey, hey, Jack. All oh, the guys at headquarters aren't going to believe this. Just a reminder. All Fuzzle households must be equipped with a standard Inquisition loudspeaker. As per standard Inquisition requirements, blaring standard Inquisition propaganda at all times, which is standard. Failure to comply will result in standard Inquisition consequences, which is to say, you will be totemized. Hey, thanks for fishing me out of that crate. Don't think I could have taken another spawning season. And thanks for getting rid of that Jack guy, too. We got lots to talk about, but the introductions are gonna have to wait. Get me out of this place before anyone finds me. The underground, much better. I'm Dalbaz, Dalbaz of Girth. They call me the Dungeon Master. Well, they used to, before I got stuck in this lantern. The job doesn't mean much nowadays, but I was a big deal about a hundred years ago. Then magic is banished, and Yannick, the Grand Inquisitor, sprays me with Froba's electric wizard repellent. Suddenly, I'm torn from my body, floating helplessly, and I end up trapped in this piece of junk. Which brings me to you. What's your name? Okay, I'll just call you ageless, faceless, gender-neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Afghan cop, for short. Anyway, you gotta help me. Standard stuff, really. Save the Empire, return magic to the land, a little revenge, if time permits. I'm a bit out of sorts at the moment, but I know just the person who could help us out. The Enchantress, Yigail. She's a bit flaky, but she's one heck of a spellcaster. And she always gives you free stuff when you talk to her. Let's ring her, shall we? I am Yigail, lost enchantress of the Empire. I come to you from the ethereal plains of Atri. Oh, um, I gotta get that, do you mind? All right, let me get right to the point. This call's not cheap. The good news is there are three magic relics. <clears throat> relics strong enough to bring magic back to the Empire. The bad news is they are lost or destroyed or something because, hello, no magic. Zip it! Take this spell book, adventurer. There is much magic hidden in the underground. If only you know how to look. What did I tell you? A spell book. Let me give you a quick rundown. There are three types of magic spells. High magic is creation. Middle magic is enlightenment. Deep magic is transmutation. You pick up spells as you go along, and you write them into your spell book. We'll probably run across a few of each down here. There are spell scrolls stashed all over the underground. I just can't remember where. That appears to be your average everyday subway token. Naturally, it's lying in a bucket at the bottom of a well. Oh, it's our very first inventory item together. I wish I had a camera. Red Rob. Bingo! Open sesame! A very nice piece of spellcasting, indeed. The crossroads of the great underground highway. My old stomping grounds. Oh, for the days when I could stomp. All the must-haves for the on-the-go adventurer. Well, I'd say this applies. Go on.
Hmm. Another vestige of the Inquisition. That tacky little souvenir is called a totem. They hold the imprisoned spirits of magical creatures. It's cheaper and easier than torture, and it's certainly much more space efficient. What, what, what was that? Uh, I heard that. Uh, hello, uh, whoever you are. It's me, Dalbaz. I got chased out of my body by the Grand Inquisitor and ended up stuck in his lamp. This here's Afghan cop. So how'd they get to you? Well, I was just minding my own business, hanging out in the forest near Fusil, and uh, next thing you know, I'm cornered by a fierce posse. I mean, more of a family, you would really call it. I mean, of about a hundred Inquisition gods, you know? And I don't mean your average regular little size gods. I mean, these were big guys. These were monsters. It took about, uh, well, 50 of them to hold me down because mostly... Oh, what's this? You're a knobby little something or other, aren't you? A scrawny, scaly runt of a kittyfish. Ooh, there's a... Speak to the great dragon of the, the Empire with such insolence. Uh, behold the flames of my wrath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 beg mercy, my lord. Oh, avert your eyes. My gaze is terrible. I am a dragon. <laughs> well, I'm sort of a dragon after a fashion, you know. <laughs> if you dare look into my eyes, I'll turn you into a uh, jelly. Stone, you idiot, not jelly. Ah, stone, right. Get it red, get it red, shall we send back up? You gonna give me any trouble, runt? Oh. Oh. No, sir, everything is under control here. Oh, dear. Tough break. So you're out of commission, huh? Well, I'm sure this kindly adventurer won't mind the extra load. Thanks. This place looks sort of familiar. The rank undergrowth prevents eastward movement. Ah! Onward then! Into the foliage! That's my house! And this is my garden! I'm home! I'm home! I'm home! <laughs> My gardening tools, scroll, shovel, shovel, scroll. That's an eggplant. Do you get it? Eggplant? No? All right. It's a snapdragon. This thing needs to take a chill pill. I don't think you would have wanted that to work anyway. Hey, baby. This is the Dungeon Master's home security system. You ain't getting in here, so don't even try. I have a great home security system, but he's got some bad habits. Harry! It's me! Come on, Harry, let me in. Oh, yeah? Well, you got any ID? Me? Do I look like I got any ID? You look like a lamb. I don't care if you're the dungeon master himself. You're still not getting in here. Now, what kind of self-respecting alarm system would let you do that? Ah, a teleportation station. Fastest way to get around in the underground. Ah, my alma mater. The most prestigious spellcasting institution in all of Zork. And I was first in my class, too. If you want to get in, you're going to have to pass the entrance exam. The three pillars. They test your aptitude for visualization, pattern recognition, and clicking.
GUE Tech, Eastlands. Boy, this takes me back. The glory days of enchanting. I can't remember a damn thing. As you'll notice, the university doesn't exist in our space-time. It's in a parallel dimension called the Ethereal Plains of Atri, which we sorcerers share with snack cakes, former child stars, and people who own ferrets. Hey! Free dirt! Let's dematerialize, shall we? Hmm, a token, a slot. But how to put it all together without my insert token into slot spell? I, I was just about to suggest that. The underground underground. It's a subway. It's a political movement. It's a subway and a political movement. Sounds like it's still operational, too. Okay, now you want to take the red line east to the yellow line, then switch off to the... Um, I have no idea. Kindle. That's more like it. Now, unless I'm mistaken, all you have to do is pick the place you want to go to, wait at the edge of the platform, and assume crash position. I guess I should warn you, the thing about the underground underground is um, that there were a few cutbacks and then a few more. And then, well, they just never got around to installing the brakes! <laughs> That really clears the sinuses. Hey, Slim. What you reading? How to hypnotize yourself. Guess it worked. Watch out. Old Scratch plays for high stakes. 500 Zorkmids against eternal damnation. What I'm trying to say is, maybe you ought to save. Shitting! 500 Zorkmids! Can you hear it? Thousands of voices lamenting some hideous fate. Or maybe it's just me. Let's dematerialize, shall we?
Totemization? Good. Now, if you just be a lamb and sign this confession, it's a formality, really. You willingly agree to be eternally bound and totemized and so forth, blah, blah, blah. You violated the laws and or pointed suggestions of the Inquisition, etc., etc., etc. No problem. Of course. Uh, oh, look, wait, there's a, there's a mistake here on line 17C. Be a lamb, just sign in a line. No, no, really, look, here, where it's supposed to say stand in line for three hours and then get totemized, it says, pop the inspector one. Oh, sorry. Oh. <clears throat> I'll sign for you. Pink copy's yours. Have a nice day. Ah, I'm remembering why I've always preferred teleporting. This is the stop for the famed Flood Control Dam Number 3. I believe it was quite the tourist attraction in times far distant. There it is. One of the crowning achievements on Lord Dinwid's platform. Red Lock. Now you're thinking outside the box. And that's all around. Well, whatever. I guess a much-loved and irreplaceable 300-year-old national treasure is a small price to pay. Congratulations. Number 57. 57. Go on, then. In you go, 57. Wait, that's it? In you go, 57? I mean, I mean don't you, don't you uh, read something or, you know, say something? Yes. I say, in you go, 57, and you go in. Oh. Well, it's gonna at least have a hug. People! People! Oh, not again! Oh, that's it! I can't work in these conditions! So, uh... Am I getting totemized or what? That looks like... Yep, it's Moss of Marillon. There doesn't seem to be very much of it, though. Rock. Beautiful. That's plenty. This place doesn't look safe. Well, that's just great. How are we going to get up there? Snacks. Sweet snacks. What a welcome sight to the road-weary adventurer. Five hundred Zorkmids. Let's just stuff those in a handy little sack, shall we?
Look, an ice cream bar. Hey, look, there's a special treat inside. Well, what do you know, another scroll. The Obadil Scroll. Will not Nusto for novelty purposes only. They're just saying that, though. Put it through a spell checker and it'll work like any other. I think some of these were here my freshman year. No! I hate it when that happens. Just where were you keeping that? From Frobar's Electric. We don't make things that suck. We make things that suck permanently.
Ye Graham. And the hallway becomes a small way. This is an emergency magicatronic message from the Enchanter's broadcasting system. I am the wizard, Bellbuzz. This is probably not a test. Should a tyrannical anti-magic despot have in fact eliminated magic from the Empire, you must find the following three lost magic artifacts. If you find them, magic will return. You must find the Coconut of Quendor. It contains the magic knowledge of the Circle of Enchanters. Knowledge enough to fill an entire coconut. Hidden before magic was banished from the realm. It holds the power of high magic and makes, I'm told, one heck of a piña colada. The wizard Yigale set sail into the Great Sea with it in 966 G.U.E. It was never heard from again. You must find the missing cube of foundation, one of the seventeen building blocks which form our existence. The cube that contains the power of middle magic was allegedly won in a game of double fanucci by the scoundrel Antharia Jack, proprietor of a gambling hall in Port Fusel. As the sources were intoxicated in the extreme, this information has never been verified. You must find the skull of Yorak, which contains the soul of deep magic. The powerful skull has fueled wars, raised empires, toppled cities, and through it all remained quite shiny. The skull was stolen by a pack of Grues near the historic White House in the year 948. Search out the time tunnels. This is the sole purpose for which we built them eons ago. This has been an emergency magicatronic message from the Enchanter's broadcasting system. This has not been a test. If this had been a test, an annoying tone would have sounded. The tone would have sounded very much like this. Warning, warning, presence of cola beverage detected. Let's find a safe home for this stuff, okay? These rocks are about to pop in a very big way, and I don't want to be next to them when they do. There you go. Crisis averted. Warning, warning, presence of cola beverage detected. This candy will self-destruct in 45 seconds.
four, three, two, one. Look, this is my locker. That's my stuff. My books and my papers and my, my... Oh, I guess I should have washed those gym shorts. My student ID. Fortunately, I cast the Turn Embarrassing Photo Invisible spell on it. That's Yannick's locker. That rat ant was my roommate here for three terms, before he became the pastor of disaster up in the above ground. He would have failed out first term if it weren't for me. A Prozork tablet. This stuff will mellow anything out, animal, vegetable, or mineral. Look at this! Cheat notes! Crib sheets! He may run the Empire, but he's not quite Mensa material. Kindle. My lantern sense is tingling, warning me of danger. Oh, and your sword's glowing too. Ah, uh, get away from me, bridge, you cretin! Look at me, damn ya! I'm the six-armed invisible bridge guy. Nobody messes with the six-armed invisible bridge guy. Go ahead then. I can take you with five arms tied behind me back. Ah! You gained 86 experience points and found a healing potion. Oops, <laughs> wrong kind of dungeon master. Oh, I like your style. Splendid job. The spell checker. You used to have to wait in line for hours to use this thing. I guess we can cut to the front of the line now. Spell named Odabil is soggy. Drying spell. Drying is complete. The Odabil spell looks good as new.
spell named Bebert is not yet imbued. Imbuing spell. Imbuing is complete. The Bebert spell gives the appearance of inclement weather. I use it for family reunions. Ah, the elusive umbrella tree, aptly named for its umbrella-shaped blossoms. Yeah, hey, ma'am. There's a spell in one of the blossoms. Look, it's fall. The Zimdor spell triplicates quantities of intoxicating libations. The Froba's Magic Alcoholic Beverage Company had it regulated, so it can't be nustoed into your spellbook. There, there, hush, hush. Let those photosynthetic neuroses just ooze on out of you. This just doesn't seem fair. Effective, maybe, but terribly unfair. Mead light! What kind of a drink is that? It'd take at least twice what you've got there to do anything. Not that the wizards of this universe use or condone the use of alcohol or any mind-altering substance in any way, shape, or form. Now you're talking. 36 gloops of mead light would be sot the hardiest of the hardy. Nothing like a good stogie. Want some right? Course you do. Oh, poor Harry. He starts with just one drink. One drink, he says. What can one teensy little drink do? And then another. And then another. And before you know it, my house is sloshed on the front lawn. There, there. He'll sleep it off. Shall we? What do you think, huh? This place has some nice appointments. I've always thought it could use a conversation pit, though. My voicemail! A message! Yes! Somebody remembered me! Oh. Hello, this is ago. Shona from Girth Publishing, and we're finishing up the latest edition of Gluttonous Recipes of the Fat and Unemployed, and we seem to have some discrepancy over the specifications for your cocoa blend. First off, flathead of fudge is illegal contraband, not to mention a tad hard to come by, and we can't find anyone with the guts to go near a Quelpie's nest. A bar of glazed hungus lard is just... Disgusting. And none of us can figure out what hot bugs are. And then there's this last thing, moss of Marillon. You don't really expect someone to go scraping for moss, do you? Look, we appreciate your submission, but if we can't reproduce your recipe, we can't expect anyone else to. She has no idea what she's missing. Actually, neither do I. What's she talking about? Hi, my name is Dr. 
Doug, and I'm calling with a fantastic offer from the ProBoz Electric Publishing Company. If you subscribe to both Obedience Monthly and Conformer Reports today, you can qualify for... Isn't that the fellow who used to do those Encyclopedia of Frobazica commercials? Right. Hello. Yes. Uh, 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 this is Snapple of the Guild to Bikers. That's Snapple, yes, uh, two Fs. I've relocated and I live in the, uh, uh throat, actually, of the, uh, the great watch dragon of the coconut. The one word, watch dragon. And, and there is it normally a family, my fact, except that my bandmate appears to have swallowed some sort of ship. Well, there's no accounting for, you know, digestive processes. But it appears to have once been a ship. And that's all we get out here, mostly ships and the like. But that's neither here nor there. These are all a hundred years old. Any poor fellow living in a dragon has probably been digested by now. Right. Uh, sorry, it's me again. Snapple. Um, uh, well, well, we've discussed all that, right? Now, anyways, I'm a baker by trade. It should be fairly clear by my name, Snapple of the Guild of... Uh... Right. Anyways, uh, since the end of all this magic business, I've had a devil of a time staying in business. I, I brought this up at the Guild. We, we took a vote and all that, but nobody could help me, really. When a simple broth spell would fill the dough 83 times, I, I could make a profit. But now broth hardly works. And when it does, well, it, it usually fills the dough too often. And the butter melts, or it, it doesn't come out the right size, or this... Hold on for an important method. Has a phone call ever changed your life? This one quite possibly can. Robot's Data Institute would like to offer you... Galbot of Earth. A free trial subscription to the Inquisition Cranial Enema Program. A hundred years of phone solicitor messages. There really should be a law. The walking castle. He sure has grown. I'm glad I started keeping him outside. He knows you're here. I think he just doesn't like you. Oh, Wow, I've never gone inside him before. This is pretty gross. Ah, hungus lard. Sweet Yorick, is that stuff ripe? It mixes well, though. The right ingredients can drown out the stench. Mmm, look at the way my little flying bugs light up. And they're hot. Can you feel it? It's like an oven in there. I call them hot bugs. Well, bees. They'd sooner saw their wings off than let anyone get at their honey. Very delicate olfactory senses. Though I doubt that's helpful to you anyway. They're not gonna like that. 
My room. Oh, the nights I spent in this room. Warm, cozy, secure. Alone. Bored. Miserable. Waiting for hour after sluggish hour to tick by. I guess I don't miss this place all that much. How'd that get there? It's a time tunnel. It's a chunk of fudge from the remains of Flatheadia Castle. Strictly contraband, but it's some darn good fudge. The days when it was all as easy as saying, tea, Earl Grey, hot. It slices, it dices. Yes, folks, it's a combination mixer and houseplant all rolled into one. I call it the Chia Processor. This recipe, if I remember correctly, works almost like a potion. Cocoa, hot and rich and murky like a fresh compost pile. Cocoa, hot and rich and murky, like a fresh compost pile. Cocoa, hot and rich and murky, like a fresh compost. Cocoa, hot and rich and murky, like a fresh compost pile. Oh, wow, talk about deja vu. The last time I got a whiff of this stuff, I was working on a new spell. It had to do with time tunnels. It's, it's too dangerous to jump through them normally, but, but, um, that's right, that's right. It let you send spirit essences through time. When they come out on the other end, they're back in their bodies. It's called Yastard. Ah, my secret mirror room where I brought lusty nymphs for trysts. <laughs> I mean, where I would have brought them if I had known any. Perfecto. Now that's why people say uh, plants are a man's best friend, or whatever they say. I don't know any people. That would be the second half of the Snavig Scroll.
You've got both pieces of the spell, but you can't nusto it when it's all ripped up like that. You gotta run it through a spell checker. Spell named Snavig is torn. Repairing spell. Repair is complete. Ah, Snavig. The trusty all-purpose shape changer spell. Nice fix. Sorry, pal. I can fly, I can complain, I can breathe fire. Okay, maybe I can't breathe fire, but I sure as Hades can't pull these boards off either. Hey, that's the White House, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Before it was condemned. Don't touch me. I don't need a, uh, uh, whatever you are. Dragging me around with your clammy uh, uh, paws or claws or uh, 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 what, kind of, what kind of thing are you, anyways? I am the great dragon of the Empire. Be beware the flames of my wrath. Ah, throw it out your tail. Where are you taking me? What will we be doing? D -d Does it involve extreme darkness, explicit danger, or untamed underground animal life? Oh, jeez. Uh, I really hope not. Oh, jeez. What if someone's in the house? I don't want to get caught. Oh, oh, all right. Oops, <laughs> I almost forgot. It's a direct line to the Commissioner. Thank you for calling the Hades Shuttle Service Courtesy Phone. 
since the dawn of time, your choice for crossing over into the afterlife. To skip a message at any time, press 4. This service has recently undergone a retrofitting to ensure full ease of abuse, customer dissatisfaction, and user unfriendliness while inefficiently bringing you, the recently deceased, to your final destination. Before crossing, you'll need to answer a few simple questions using the touch tone pad. Press 1 for the list of questions. To press 3, please press 7. To hear these options again, call back and listen to them again. To press 4, hit the pound key. To return to the main menu, press the star key for what is all this? I just want to call the damn shuttle. Is that so much to ask? You have correctly answered all the questions. Congratulations! A shuttle will be along shortly to transport you to Hades, where you will languidly spend the rest of eternity. Have a hell of a day. Charon, the oarsman of the River Styx. Whoo-hoo! I don't know how he manages to generate a stink, but he most certainly does. Your sword's blowing blue! Let me try that again. Your sword's glowing blue! Let's cut the crap, okay? You got this, Fox. You know the drill. You're the adventurer. I'm your We're basic... your basic two-headed guardian of Hades-type creature. You're looking for treasure, mana, crystals, red pages, blue pages, whatever. It's all the same, really. The point is, you want to get by. They always do. And we gotta kill you. We always do. There's a little banter, a little slang, chop, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then I gotta string your entrails all over the place and make a big mess. Do us both a favor. Beat it. That is, before we change our minds. Haven't you heard a word we've said? That Karan guy will roll just about any moron across the river. Don't even start with a Sparky! Snapping! Six, six, six. Very cute. You've got mail. Ah, an envelope. But how can we possibly open such a cleverly sealed device? Confound it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
Navig. Hmm, now you look like us, which is an improvement, but you're still not getting by. Oh, that's an interesting look. Interesting like Jojo the Slime-Faced Boy is interesting. You've transmogrified yourself into his clone. If you're gonna do something, do it fast. You won't stay like this very long. Taking your lunch break early, huh? Don't forget to punch out. Hello, Brog like rocks. Mmm, rocks. Brog thinking about rocks. Brog thinking about rocks and how nice they are. Nice for his tummy. Hi, my name's Dal Boz. I'm the one in the lantern. The person who's carrying us around hasn't given us a name, so I just use Afghan cop. I find it fits he, she, or it pretty well. Brog am Brog. Uh-huh. I never would have figured that out. So how'd you end up in that totem, big guy? Nice cave. Cave, good place to hide. No bad things will happen to him now. Bad guy squish Brog in thing. Brog thing now. Brog sitting here long time. Being thing and thinking about rocks. Rocks. Narwhile! Yes, third! Oh, what an attractive little archipelago! <laughs> This is my idea of a vacation, a little fun, a little sun, and I don't have any magic. Uh, hey, can we get a few drinks around here? Oh, uh, the kind with the little umbrellas? <laughs>
That's an air pump. So, let's pump some air. It's a dragon! Hello? Hello? What's going on up there? You ever been stuffed in a dragon's nose? This ain't funny, you sick seafaring bastard! would be a coconut. Oh yeah, the coconut of Gwendor. Mm, I was looking for that nut. Actually, since you're there, maybe you could help me out. I'm trying to make myself a pina colada down here and I'm running short on ingredients. So I need to run to the store to pick up a coconut. If I throw you a rope, could you tie it to one of the dragon's teeth so I could climb up? That's a rope, all right. Thanks, mate! Well, I'm not gonna dwell on it, but that... that was stupid. Hello there? Hello? Did you get the rope? Hello? Form an impromptu root canal on a sleeping dragon. It just isn't done. I mean, Arr, she blows! hey, a blows up must come down. That's called nature. Hello, anybody? I don't mean to be a bother, but may I see? Oh, that was easy. All we had to do was tickle a freaking dragon, fly into his mouth. Send the guy to his doom and shoot an inflatable sea captain out of his nose. <laughs> I wish everything in life was simple. Come to Papa, <laughs> you nut. Hey, nice joint. Uh, now let's just uh, stick this thing in my bob and that thing in my jigger and tango on out of here, okay? Ta-da! <laughs> Good work, kid. Hmm, now you look like us, which is an improvement, but you're still not getting by.
Yes, dude. Brog no like it here. Brog teeny bit scared. Boards hurting house. Leave house alone, Nails. Hmm, big toothpick. Good for pebbles in teeth. I'm the bickering torch. At least that's what they call me anyways. I prefer to call myself a grande queso. Oh, all right. But I'm warning you. First sign of a gru when I'm doused, you hear me? Out like a light. I'm the flickering torch. I do flicker, and that's okay. I'm afraid of dark caves, and I've accepted that about myself. I'm hearing that you really enjoy rocks. Brog eat rocks. Why didn't I get made out of top quality wood like the other torches? Was that a groove? Is this a dark cave? Did you hear one word I said to you? See ya, pal. I'm doused. We're quite a team, aren't we, you and I? I wouldn't miss this for the world. As long as you're in this dank hole, I'll be burning right beside you every second of the way. Not a flicker in sight, my thick friend. Oh dear. Oh dear. I hope I'm not becoming codependent. No! No, no eat egg. Brog like rocks. Like wood, no talk, much better. This seems somehow metaphorical. Brog not like eggs in a can. Brog not like them. Brog, brog, am. Do you have some kind of plan here that you might fill me in on? Or uh, were you just suddenly craving eggs? This seems somehow metaphorical. Do you have some kind of plan here that you might fill me in on? Or uh, were you just suddenly craving eggs? Huh? 
<laughs> Egg go boom! Brog found skull. Now Brog need to get skull. Brog get it. Just need time. Brog no good. But Brog try. Brog get it. Just need time. Brog much better at this game. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Easy. Good puzzle. Smart frog. Castle is Brog's friend. Brog find nice home for Skull. Go to sleep, little Skull. They're rioting in the streets, you know. There's even talk of a magic rebellion. Those imbeciles. If only they knew how much I care. You ever tried just talking to them? Everything's so messed up. I mean, that's not even the worst of it. I just killed my college roommate. Oh. At least I thought I did, but apparently some idiot is carting him around the underground in a magic lamp. My men don't... If my men don't find him soon, they, they could ruin everything. Come on now. Don't cry, Mr. Inquisitor. Yannick, please. Yannick, you think you've got it bad? I let the love of my life slip through my fingers over a stupid game of strip, roof, fire, and water. Well, at least you had one. <laughs> Never even knew her name. <laughs> I'm gonna be crying too. Look, I wasn't gonna say this, but if I tell you where you can find that uh, idiot and the lamp guy, that make you feel any better? Jack. Would you? Two words. Time tunnels. Didn't you ever see the great underground adventure three? Time tunnels. Of course. Thank you, Jack. Ah, forget it. Now, pull yourself together, man. This is embarrassing. Of course. Ah. I'm sorry. Now, come on. Where's that tyrannical madman? Hmm? Do the face. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Give me that mean face. <sighs> now, where were we? Guards? Yes, yes sir! Bring in the fro bozzy electric hungus prop. Hungus prop, <laughs> right, let's go! <laughs> you pathetic fool. <laughs> That's my guy! Oh, come on now. Look, we're safe down here. Even if you could make that climb, we'd be arrested in a matter of seconds. Lord. Hmm. This sword appears to be of elven workmanship. Standard adventurer wear. You know the type. Hmm. This sword appears to be of elven workmanship. Standard adventurer wear. 
You know the time. Very clever. I hope you can climb up there with all this junk you're carrying. See? We can do this whole adventure thing, you and I, and we... I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't you remember the signs from Port Fusel? It's that totemizer machine, and it's powered up again. They must have discovered an alternative power source, like building treadmills at the local orphanage. Hmm, informative, yet deeply disturbing. Sorry I can't help. We never covered this in shop class. Hey, uh, what, what, what you planning to do with that switch, huh? You're not thinking of pulling it, are you? You're sitting on my head. 9,942 bottles of mead on the wall. 9,942 bottles of mead. You take one down and pass it around. 9,941 bottles of mead on the wall. Hey, you guys! Down here! In the bin! Thanks. When they left me behind in the bin, I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. Oh no, you guys are totems too. Yeah, we all got squished. What did you do? I was part of the resistance. You know, the magic underground. There's a whole movement in the streets. Ugh. Well, somebody better clean it up. You can get a pretty stiff fine for that sort of thing. <laughs> now that's a rule I can live by. <laughs> And to think your people once ruled the Empire! <laughs> Arrest the planet! Wait, it, it's not what you think. Oh, really? What am I thinking? Hmm. Gee, it's hard to tell. There's so much interference coming from your... mustache. You're out of milk. And, uh, your pants are chafing you. And you're going to totemize every magic creature in the Empire. And here I thought that oppressing the regular folks was enough of a full-time job. Busy, busy, busy. No, for you I'll make the time. Take her to the totemizer. <laughs> what? Over a bit of paint? Well, listen, it doesn't matter what you do, telepath. Your species, like all magic, has been declared extinct. Take her to the totemizer! What? No rack? No gallows? What kind of loser inquisition is this? <laughs> it's attitude like that that have made the house of Flathead what it is today! Fallen! The history of Zork 
was rarely a chronological study until the Inquisition officially sealed the ancient network of time tunnels that runs beneath the Empire. History in Zork now happens but once, and there are, as the Quentorian schoolchildren are known to say, no backseat. Havoc struck Gwendor when the wizard of Frobaz, the court magician of Lord Dimwit Flathead, accidentally transformed Dimwit's famed castle, Flatheadia, into a mountain of fudge. In one errant stroke of wayward magic, the wizard simultaneously destroyed both the skyline and the waistline of the House of Flathead. In 773 GUE, a local civil servant caused unspeakable devastation to the city of Marillon when he attempted to cast Zemdor, a spell that turns originals into triplicate, and accidentally cast Zimbor, a spell designed to turn one really big city into lots of tiny little ashes. He reportedly apologized to the city with the words, Whoops, my bad. In the mid-10th century GUE, a group of rogue alchemists seeking the fifth element of the quintessence of immortality released a vengeful force known as the Nemesis. The Nemesis tormented innocence and a great many less than innocence, when innocence could not be located throughout the Eastlands. This looks like some kind of wacko communication device the guards here must use. Yannick sure do like his toys, don't he? Hmm, I'd say the Inquisition has way too much time on its hands. Yes, third. Sweet Yurik! God, does it feel great to get out and stretch! Look, it's Foozle! Minus a whole lot of barbed wire and a few redcoats running around. I remember these good old days, when we were between Inquisitions. Anybody home in there? Hey! Oh, oh, just your luck. It's ladies' night. 
Come on in and save me a dance. Whew. Um, I haven't danced in a long time. I love the lovely ladies. I'm beginning to sense this mission is fraught with peril. I love to love the lovely ladies. We get the point. Breathe in, breathe out, in, out. That's right, big boy. Just stick to the fundamentals. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh. Want some rye? Of course you do. Want some rye? Of course you do. You got the egg. Yeah. So what did I win? Nothing. Hey, Floyd. Yeah, boss. She's ready to play. Go get her. Uh, you want a very special privilege. Uh, you get to go into the back room and uh, play with the high rollers. What do you mean? Follow me. I'm Jack. You know. And there you, Jack. You uh, probably remember me from my hit TV series, the Z Team. Bingo! What a conceited pig. Did I just say that out loud? W where I I'm. I was expecting you to be a conceited pig. Me? I think I said some chemistry. We're uh, going to play a high stakes game of Groove Fire Water. Floyd? Tell her about the house rules. Oh, yeah, there's rules. Yeah, uh, they're real easy. Gru drinks water, water puts out fire, and fire scares Gru. So, what's the ante? Floyd, tell her about the ante. Oh, yeah, there's an ante. <laughs> You're wearing it. Strip Gru fire water. That's right. Unbelievable. Floyd, you game? Please, please, please be gay. Tell me something, Jack. Does this little game actually work with women? You tell me. I'm so pathetic. Pathetic, but cute. Okay, I'll give it a try. Great, but I have to warn you. I haven't lost the game yet. Hmm, crew, fire. Crew, fire, crew, fire. <laughs> ah, beginner's luck. Aren't you going to take the hat off? Nah, that's uh, trademark. I thought the cigar was. Ah, that's a uh, habit. <sighs> When in doubt, go grew. Dramatic. Why, 
I'm getting rusty. She thinks I'm down for the count? I'll blindside her with water. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank here. I'll just go with Gru. Come on, Gru. Good old Gru. She's looking at the cigar. Yeah, she's staring right at it. She's got fire on the brain. Oh, I'm getting rusty. She thinks I'm down for the count? I'll blindside her with water. <laughs> you lose, Muffet. Ante up. Oh, what's the matter? Lost your nerve? Huh. Oh, me? No, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Yes, yes, I totally lost my nerve. You know, I do have something else. Jack, that's the Cuba Foundation. I've been looking everywhere for that. Really? Don't you love it when a plan comes together? You know, that whole in there is Jack that could be the worst. Coming from the guy who's underwear. Oh, what do I say? What's My castle, I should go. <sighs> Goodbye, Jack. But, but, but I, I don't even know your name! Oh. Of all the lousy, stinking meat joints and foozle. Why'd she have to walk into mine? Wow, very sparkly. Not to mention anatomically correct. The whole place kind of says, I am magic, hear me roar. I admire your resourcefulness. Nearly as much as I pity your ignorance. You can't stop me. I'm the future. And your history. Throw history in jail. Along with that other interloper. Now we'll see how the powerful magic rebellion comes to its pathetic end. Who's the magic now, baby? <laughs> That's it. We get to take off early today. Wardle's staying to make sure that Anthari and Jack guy doesn't get any smart ideas. But we're free to leave. Oh, wanna go to the Mesa to check out that Inquisitive Vision thing? No, oh, that sounds kind of boring. Yeah, suppose I should go and water my plants anyways. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. Alright. See you tomorrow. Right. Hey! You! You! You know what they did to me because of you? You ever seen a hungus getting prod? But it ain't pretty. Time tunnels? What are, what are you talking about? Okay, so I told him about the time tunnels. Look, the guy was crying. I panicked. Oh, come on. No. Don't start. Not you two. He was gonna find you sooner or later. Here! Blow your nose on this.
Is your stuff? Did you see me in there? And I did all my own stunts? Let's just say there's a new adventure. Because uh, we were just going to go home. You're not hearing me. Will you take out that horrid Grand Inquisitor guy already? Could you be a tad more specific? Look, you have the three lost treasures of the high, middle, and deep magic. They have an order? What, do I have to spell it out for you? High magic. Hello? The radio tower is the highest point in Fuzel. With the scroll. You can complete your quest. That's all I can tell you because, well, that's all I know. What? You take the tower. I have an irrational fear of heights. Cut the cable, I'll send the GI your way. All right, we are back. We've got the three artifacts, and it looks like we're right where we need to be, too. Flathead Mesa. is filled with the Grand Inquisitor's personal guard. <clears throat> What's your favorite poem? Hey, I'm a real sucker for the romantics, I have to admit. Uh, what kind of benefits package did the Grand Inquisitor promise you guys? Pretty standard stock options package. 401k, profit sharing, but I won't be fully vested for another three months. My broker told me that it's a bad time to invest in fanatical religions right now. Say, Charlie, that's a nice vest. Thanks! It's got a little tear, see? Right here. Not that you notice. You will come. Crafty. Sweet York, we're all gonna die! Oh, merciful heavens, is this the end? Try using the alarm clock in the door. Oh, that's never gonna work. Who's gonna water my plants? You can't breathe, the walls are closing in. Let us out, let us out. Please! I hate adventurers. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! That was easy. Too easy. Uh-oh, my lantern sense is tingling again. Not bad, but it's still electrified. You 
are truly gifted. You know that? You and your partner to avoid unnecessary pleasantries and even necessary pleasantries since neither party will be able to communicate in any traditional fashion. Oh, people of the great underground empire, your wizards and enchanters, your conjurers and armors, Oh, what a handy little nook. Hey, what's this big cube-shaped hole doing here? Their power was your powerlessness. They knew no law. They respected no persons. They held order and government in content. In short, they turned your empire. When you see something like this, you just have to wonder, was all this pre-designed by some cosmic higher power? Uh oh, it's crooked. It needs to be counterbalanced. Wait, put my lantern in the other cup to straighten it out. Everything's in place! All it would take now to finish things would be the casting of one incredibly appropriate and heretofore unused spell. Floss regularly, floss meaningfully, floss athletically, and above all, never forget who is the boss of you. Me! I am the boss of you! I am the boss of you! Hey, hey! Look! What a tower! That ain't the cable guy. I don't think Jack was entirely clear on the plan. He just sent the Grand Inquisitor after us. Max off. Max off. You did great! I'll drop you a line from the Ethereal Plains. Inquisition is no more!